Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corey, the Ugly Bug Fly Shop, Crazy Rainbow Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie one of my favorite jig head patterns for Freestone Rivers called the Hothead Jiggy Thin Mint. So, let's go ahead and start, uh, let's go ahead and start with the thread here. I'm going to use some UTC 140, and this happens to be fluorescent orange. It's the thread I'm going to use today. Uh, I'm going to use Umqua's U555 Barbed, Barbed Jig Hook. Smash them if you want. Um, I just love the length of, the, length of that. That the hook that hook is perfect for this pattern. Then we're going to use some slotted hairline tungsten beads. Get as big as you want with these. These are big boys. These are big boys. Um, then we're going to use some light olive marabou, some golden brown marabou, sand with some 6905 flashaboo sandwiched in between. Um, and then we're going to use one of our favorite patterns, our favorite materials of all time, and I'm going to have to duck out of the way to grab it. Boom! That's right! Peacock on the quill. Love this. I do most of my peacock straight off the quill. Why? It's less brittle. Um, and this is just way cool. This is just way cool. So um, we're going to also use some 0.015 lead-free wire for weight and some copper wire in brassy size um, for the segmentations. And last but not least. Grizzly saddle and natural. Size to match the hook. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get tying. All right, everybody. And we're back. So let's go ahead and uh, knock this bad boy out. As you can see, I got my uh, tungsten bead on here. And I got my weight on there. Like in the last two videos, I like to have that weight on there. Keeps that uh, bead where I want it to be while I'm tying. Also adds a little bit more weight there. This is designed for me to be a very heavy pattern. So I tie it as such. So I'm just, first thing I'm gonna do, is just go ahead and cover this. And as you can see, I'm using orange thread um, because I wanna have a little orange collar on here. Um, and the goal is so none of that orange thread shows um, um, on the rest of the fly butt up in the collar area. So. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to start with some of this light olive um, strung marabou. And I'm actually going to take it and just go ahead and pull a lot of this bottom stuff off. Get it out of my way. Okay. And this, the tail is designed to, tied to, designed to be tied sparsely. So I kind of will pull some off. See where I'm at. I actually kind of liking that. So what I'm going to do is make this a out a hook, hook length, uh, hook shank length. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this right in. Couple of nice wraps up to where my, um, close to where my lead free wire is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this nice and close. Okay. One thing I think a lot of people um, kind of don't set their self up for success with is scissors, right? It's really important to have a nice sharp set of scissors at all times. I am probably one of the worst at that, um, but yeah. So, I'm gonna take two pieces of our standard flashaboo and we're just gonna go right on top. All right, just like this. And if you've ever watched any Kellogg Gallup videos, You'll notice that he layers his as well. He likes to layer his. And that's exactly what I'm doing, is I am layering this pattern. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take some of this light brown. I actually think we've got a piece right here. And pull some of this crap off the bottom here. And this is golden brown, actually. I'm sorry. What we're going to do is do the same. Tie this in the same length as the last one. 
just like that. Throw some wraps down on there to finish this off. Just like this. Cut this close. And look at that. We're golden here. Okay. So don't worry so much about that little hump that we got there. You can kind of tell I got like a little hump in the transition. Okay. Don't worry so much about that. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fill this right on in. Okay, just like that. There's some nice thread wraps. There we go, perfect. All right, so now that we're there, let's go ahead and take our set, of some of our brassy wire and copper, okay? What I like to do, see there's that hole right there in the top? I like to go ahead and I want to stick that right in that hole, doink, tie this in. Just like that. Okay? Come back. Perfect. Now, one of the things I forgot to show you guys in the uh, material portion was Peacock. One of the, one of the more important ones. Go ahead and cut four pieces off your peacock eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the front of these. And I'm going to cut those even. I'm going to go ahead and tie those right in the back there. There we go. Get tied in back here. I'm going to kind of wrap those up so they don't fall off. Get my thread up here. And then I'm going to add just a smidge more thread up front. Okay. Let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy right up with our peacock. One right in front of the other, just like that. That's the good stuff right there. Okay. Kind of got a little twisted in there, but that's okay. It looks pretty good. I'm going to add just one little half of a turn and lock this down. So make sure to come over the top a couple times, cinch this down. Go in front, lock it, and then we're going to want to cut this right up close. Just like that. Perfect. Okay? So there we go. Pretty good portion of that guy done right up. Um, now what I'm going to do is take some of my hackle. Now, tie this a little bit differently than most, okay? So a lot of guys want to have this to taper. Um, do I want this to taper? Mm, quite honestly, does not matter that like that to me. I actually kind of don't want it to taper. I want it to be full throughout the entire bug. And a little trick here, I'm going to try to do this so I don't block with the camera. I take this in line, set the exposed quill right on there, and then what I do is I actually will take this do a couple of nice loop wraps and X wrap that quill in just like that because that's how I want that to lay in there okay perfect so we're gonna go ahead wrap this nut right forward and I do pretty close I like this thing to have a lot of feather showing that looks amazing to me okay so now I'm gonna do it's come the opposite direction and I'm just gonna go quickly weave my hand back and forth go in between here you'll pretty you'll be pretty surprised at how how a small amount you actually catch if you just add a little speed to that and cruise right through it and and wiggle your hand back and forth you'll be pretty surprised then we're gonna lock it Perfect. Helicopter it. It's my favorite. Just like that. Cut this off. Reach in here. Kind of just boop. Now, I'm going to actually pull these back. And I'm going to just wrap some of the, just kind of create, not that big of a collar, but a nice collar. Just like that. and whip finish perfect look at that 
There it is. This is my hot head jiggy thin mitt. Super reliable, super heavy, super great pattern. Um, yeah, and all the materials are available here at the Ugly Bug Fly Shop. Um, add a little bit of glue up there if you want. I'm gonna take. I usually take a little bit of just some medium CA, or you can use some UV glue. And I'm just gonna come in here, pull these back. Poop, poop, poop. Poop, poop. Come up here. Poop, poop, poop. And those things aren't going anywhere. So there it is, folks. Thanks for watching. Sure can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And uh, have fun with it. Have a great night, and we'll see you next week for our part four of our four-part jig series.